depression. I do not wish to give an overall expression of depression. I can only give my view of what I experience as depression. It feels like internal fist poundings in succession. As if the class is never ending and I never grasp the lesson. Strange because all my woes stem from a system of oppression. Now weighed down on me in centuries of failed insurrection. It's the small things. Fighting to wake up. Fighting to sleep. Fighting to stay afloat while blacks frown at deep. It's the dishes and laundry that moan in neglect. The countless views of reaction you have to always reject. Reject to protect. Reject out of revolutionary respect. You reject yourself until you neglect yourself, until all around you has lost respect of self. To be selfless like the triple S. To serve, suffer and sacrifice rest. To forgo words like blessed. And to live life on the run and remain stressed. Yes, that's my submission to depressed. A place devoid of rest. Fleeting moments of peace and mess. A challenge to get in the shower and get dressed. Self-love has become detest. The test. Emotions that no longer want to be undressed. Yearning to be loved and caressed. Conflict unavoidable because you live in unrest. And only glances in the mirror because you're no longer impressed. You see, it's like the ceaseless rebuilding of a tattered bird's nest. Loneliness encroaches, but everyone goes through it so nonetheless. Say less and less, maybe you won't be as depressed. Punctuating advice with, you're right, I guess. My peace, ancestors and Afropez, Mpepo and candles, jazz and caffeinated distress. It's a treacherous path being depressed. A polarity of progress and familiarity with regress. No Western medication or religious address. The solution is revolution and land as redress. But this too might fail and leave us even more depressed. It's between fighting and suicide as salvation to an assumed deep rest. Blacks are depressed. Come on.